Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. This video is from chapter one of electrical machines, uh, magnetic circuits. And here I'll be trying to clarify some doubts uh, that students have about how to calculate the mean core length, how to calculate area of cross sections, and how to calculate the increase in area due to fringing effect. So, if you keep this formula in mind, one thing will be clear that for let's say R1, we are using L1 and then area A1. For R2, we are using length L2 and area A2. That means the length and the area of cross section, they are related. So, for every change in area, we have to find a new length. So, this is the point that we have to keep in mind. Okay, now let's see this magnetic core, uh, core with same width. Now you can see the width here, 10 centimeter. This width is also 10 centimeter. And this is also 10 centimeter, 10 centimeter. So same width. So uh, this will be easy. So the first thing we'll do is draw the mean core path. So we draw the mean core path in between the two extremes. And then it is easy if we uh, put a cross on the four sides and so join the four corners of the inner and outer. And then if you name them, like call this length as L1, then L2, L3, L4. And now we can calculate all the lengths. And let's see the first one, L1. Now, if you move from here, this length up to this point is half of 10 centimeters. So half of 10 will be 5. Then this 20 centimeter is full covered. And then the left portion here is also half of 10 centimeter, that is 5. So it is now 30 centimeter length. And since it is equal on all sides, so we can just write that L2 same way, L2, then L3 and L4, and all will be 30 centimeters. But in the question that we saw, we convert these into meters. So we divide it by 100. So 30 centimeter divided by 100 will give 0 0.3 meters. And same way all others. And the length can be calculated in one go also. Since the, the area is same all over, so you could have calculated like going from here, this length, this length, this length, total. You could have calculated. Now, how to calculate the area? Now, look here, the depth is given 5 centimeters. The best a way is to visualize it in three dimensions. So, let me just draw it in three dimensions. So, now this is the depth. You can see this is the depth 5 centimeters. And if we draw the area, this will be the area of cross section. So it is primarily the width, 10 centimeter, multiplied by the depth. Uh, that will give us the area of cross section. So area of cross section, we call it AC, is W is the width and D is the depth. So it is 10 multiplied by 5, so 50 centimeter square. Now this also we have to convert into meters. So we divide it by 2 times 100 because there are 2 cm's. So the answer will be 0 0.005 meter square. Okay, so this was easy. Now let's see another time, core having different width. Now this width is 10 centimeter, but this width is 15 centimeter, 15 centimeter, and 15 centimeter. So here also we'll draw the corners, especially here where the width is different. And we assume this to be a, a different part. So we calculate L1 for this length. And then we can call all these as L2. Okay, so L1 we have we can calculate a half of 15 centimeter, 7.5. Then this is 30 centimeter. And this one is half of 15 centimeter, so 7.5, 45 centimeter. Now the others you can just go around and calculate or you can draw the cross section and make three parts. Let's see if we do it directly. Then we are going from here, five, half of 10 is five centimeter. Then is 30 centimeter. 
and then is half of 15 is 7.5. Similarly, this line 7.5, 30, 7.5, and this line 7.5, 30, and half of 10, 5. So 130 centimeter. And we can also convert these into meters. Now the area of cross section, depth is 10 centimeter. So the, in the first case, A1, the uh, width is 10. So it is 10 multiplied by 10 is 100 centimeters square. And divided by 10,000, it will be 0 0.01 meters square. Similarly, the depth, uh, the area of cross section here will be width 15 centimeter multiplied by depth 10 centimeter. So 150 centimeters square and divided by 10,000, it will be in meters. Another one, now this has three variations. You can see this area is 5 centimeters. This area is 10 centimeters, or this width, sorry. Width 5 centimeters, width 10 centimeters, but here width is 15 centimeters. So three parts. So we just, first of all, draw the uh, midpoint, and then just put these crosses. We call this as L1, this as L2, and this is L3A, L3B. We know how to calculate the length now. L1 is half of 15, 7.5, then is 15, and then half of 15, 7.5, so 30 centimeters. L2 same way, and L3 also half of 5, 2.5, then 20, and then half of 10 is 5 centimeter. So this way we can calculate all the three lengths. Again, you got to convert them into meters. And the area of cross section now, you can see 5 centimeter is the width and 5 centimeter is the depth. So 5 multiplied by 5, 25 centimeters converted into meters. Then A2, this area is 10 and depth 5, so 10 multiplied by 5, 50 centimeters and converted into meters. Now this one is 15 and depth 5, so 15 into 5, 75 centimeters square, and the answer is 0 0.075 meters square. Okay, and uh, I'm forgetting, I, I have given the name of the problems from where we, I have taken these. So I have videos on this. If you want to solve these problems, you can just look for this video. Okay, now the end chapter problem 1.8 has this diagram. And you can see this looks complicated, but it's not. You can see this is the width is nine centimeter here. This width is also nine centimeter. 9 centimeter, 9 centimeter all around. Only this width is different, it is 15 centimeter. So the easiest way is that we divide this part, we call it L1. Then we call this part as L2. Then this air gap length will be called L3. And the right is L4. Now let's calculate L1 from here, half of 15, 7.5, 25, and half of 94.5. And similarly, this one and this one. So this is total uh, 108 centimeter, which will become 1008 uh, meter. I think I have made a mistake here. Okay, we should divide it by 1000, so it will be 0 0.01 a meter. OK. I think same mistake in, uh, no, it's okay. It's okay, divided by 100. L2 is this length. And you can see half of 9.5 is 4.5. Then it's 25. And then 4.5 again. So 34 centimeter is 0 0.34 meter. This is already given in centimeter 0 0.04. So we just divided by 100, so it will be uh, converted into meter. And L4 is basically same as L1, so it's the same dimension. 
Now the area of cross section, we can just draw here for our convenience. And we can we know it is 15 centimeter divided by depth 5 centimeter. When converted into meter, it will be 0 0.15 multiplied by 0 0.05. Similarly, here the width is 9 centimeter, which can be written as 0 0.09 meter multiplied by 5 centimeter depth, that is 0 0.05 meter. So, this is how you calculate the area. Okay, now coming to the fringing effect. Now, this is the core, and when there is an air gap, there is a gap between the two, then the flux tries to go out little bit and this is called the fringing effect and so when it goes out you can see the area here and the area here is different so this area is increased area increased area actually this is the width increased and the depth remains same so this how we'll take care now let's see the area of cross section of the core here is given by 0 0.005 meter square and for fringing, the question says that the air, in the air gap, the area of cross section increases by 4%. So 4% of what? 4% of this one. So uh, to find the total area, we just multiply this uh, AC by 1.04, because 4% is uh, 0.04, and we add one with this, to get the total area so 1.04 multiply will give us the uh, new area or the increased area of the air gap so i hope you have been able to follow this